Hello, my name is Green, and today I'm back with 30 more building tricks. Now, I tried to come up with concepts, little tips and tricks, advice, or just small little designs, anything that I could come up with. I didn't come up with 50 because I really struggled with the last 20, and I didn't want to give you too many useless filler ones. So, let's get straight into it. First up, this one is very interesting. It is a pseudo painting of, like, a person, but the trick here is that the eyes actually follow you as you go side to side or even forwards and back. It's rather creepy, but the trick here is how you use the depth. It's actually fairly normal, but you have all of the features such as the hair and the body and the face sticking out, and you have the eyes set really far back in their sockets and in general, so you see how deep this painting goes? The eyes go back even further, and that's the key part of that, and putting the buttons there actually make it look like the eyes are following you, which is really creepy. So if you're making a haunted mansion, this might look really good, but the only issue is you're going to need very thick walls in order to do it. So that's a really nice trick. Now, this one is actually really interesting. I found out quite a while ago that fence gates actually lower when connected to a cobblestone wall, but this is not the case for any other block. So here, they are completely normal. Perhaps if I put them next to each other, you can you can actually see the difference. So if I put, connect them here, you can see that these are actually at different heights. So if you put them connected to cobblestone walls next to each other, you can make a pretty cool fence gate. And that brings us on to the third one, where you can create different heights to create a sort of weather pane thing. So each bit that juts out sort of looks like it's slanting upwards. Of course, you wouldn't want to really open it up because it would look weird, so you just use it as a decoration tool. And if you come up with any more ideas in the way you could use this height variation, I'd love to see it because it's actually a really neat trick for tiny, minute detailing. So that's a nice one. So more of a sort of simple one, you can create these sort of blocks within four blocks, if you understand what I'm trying to say. There is a simple block in the middle of these, but it is only using a quarter of the block that each staircase occupies. So you could use it to create some rather hefty looking fences if you wanted to. Which brings us on to the next one, which is the trick you can use using nether gate fence, and it only works with nether gate fence, and a different type. Perhaps you would want to use uh, the spruce one, or a darker colour, because it actually ends up being a bit of a closer match. But the technique remains the same. You normally would have these connected up, and they're only a block apart, but you can actually walk through these. So it makes, it makes for a good ideal uh, prison if you want to be able to actually walk through the bars instead of using iron fence as normally people do. So the next one is utilizing barrier blocks. So barrier blocks are these invisible ones that are only acquired in creative mode and they're very very uh, handy to use and you can actually create sort of a little cannon which you might remember from a previous video and you can add buttons on it to make it look like it's actually shooting pew pew <laughs> so it's a very cool trick, and you could use that for anything like an anti-aircraft gun or any sort of modern gun to just make it look like it's actually firing. Next up is a very simple trick using heads to make it look like there's sort of a hidden shelf under there. And all you have to do is just have a block behind with those heads, they are custom to make them look like beers, and then you can just fill it in with half slab underneath to make it look like there is something in there. Quite simple. Next up, we have a mirror, and it is obviously a fake mirror, there is just a room on the other side, however, it is very good at sort of faking it, so you could, although you don't have a reflection, you could put anything in the room, especially in a bathroom, and sort of replicate a nice cool mirror, so it really looks like there is a reflection, because that's just the nature of this build. So obviously the, the house itself isn't the trick, but the concept of the mirror, which I'm sure most of you have seen before. Another one, and these two are kind of put together, the yellow carpet here can actually be used to, to further decorate hay to make it look like there are just like these little bits around. So if you have piles of hay anywhere, you might want to consider adding these as an extra decoration. And similarly, if you have like these little bushes, you could add green carpet to make it look like there's a bit of moss or overgrowth on them. 
So let's move back to the next one, that is the first 10. This one's kind of simple, it is just a diagonal design for a furnace or, you know, a fireplace. I think it looks really cool, so that's why I included it. And some of you might find a use for this if you're making some sort of blacksmith or something like that. Next up, we have shoulder pads for our Scarecrow. I have shown the Scarecrow before, but with the custom head, which you can put together using a command block or a command if you have access to it, really add that little extra bit of detail that just make it that much more interesting. So that's why I included that one. Next up, we have a bunch of things in here which are designed for the bathroom. So you might remember from my previous video, there was the toilet, which I have slightly improved there. But what I really want to point out in this little bathroom is just how much it actually looks like a bathroom for one, and perhaps you might want to consider changing this to be a better sink, but the prismarine here on the floor, the dark prismarine and the prismarine bricks, they really complement the quartz, enable to make a really good looking bathroom. And you can of course create sort of shelves here, a nice little shower, and you could put water up there to make a dripping effect. So let's leave our little bathroom there. I think there's a lot of cool tricks in there. Now this one here is one of my absolute favorites. This is the reflective floor, so it's similar to the mirror in how it works, except it looks really cool. It genuinely looks like there is a reflective surface, such as the nature of ice in general. So you look up and you see this, and you look down and you see a similar thing. Although you're going to be sliding around on the ice, the effect is nonetheless very good. So now we move on to just a cool little trivia thing more than anything else. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but there is a hidden seventh texture to wood. This is all in default, and I know a lot of you like to use texture packs, but look at all these, plus this one, which is actually only utilized using barrier blocks again, and a painting. It is actually the back of a painting, which I thought was particularly interesting. So here we have a nice design for a guillotine. You can utilize the heads, and the cauldrons and the anvil in order to create a nice looking guillotine if you're making a spooky build. Next up, I utilized the item frame and the head, which is of course my head, to create a wanted sign. So in order to do this, you place the sign, then the head, uh, sorry, you replace the item frame, then the head, and then the sign, and you write over the top, and I put wanted, dead or alive. So that might be really nice if you have a community server where someone's been griefing and you want them dead. So here is a nice design for a very simple lamppost. I love sea lanterns, they've quickly become one of my favourite blocks, and it's not just because of the cool little animation, they just look nice, the colours are nice, and of course they produce light, which not a lot of blocks actually do. So this is a cool little one, and I would happily use this design in a town street. So next up, this might look familiar because I have done one before. However, this one does not use world edit. It actually uses barrier blocks. You can place ladders on bar barrier blocks. And I actually had a little bit of a play around with barrier blocks in general and came up with another one. So this here is an airship. And here is the sort of the platform that it's tethered to. And as you can see, there's a nice line of rails that go across to platform to the airship and this is actually uh, and this is actually put together by barrier blocks themselves they are just placed on top very simply so that you can sort of fake the fact that these are floating and connected i thought it was a very nice trick and if you have an airship and want it moored it is a very easy thing to do if you have access to barrier blocks so next up, here is a sort of a microphone technique that was shown to me, and you can just place the block using a command on top, or if you have world edit, you can world edit on top as well. And it just looks like a little microphone. Unfortunately, if you click it, it does disappear and updates the block, because you can't actually place the lever on top of the cobblestone fence, unfortunately. So now, here is just a very simple design for a beheading uh, sort of stage. Very easy to make, but effective and gory nonetheless. Next up, we have a similar design to the ones we had all the way back in number 9 and number 10. It's just decorating gold blocks with gold plates to make it just look like there's, you know, gold bars on the floor as well as uh, gold, gold blocks themselves. I think it's, you know, effective and simple to do. I had a lot of play around with banners, and that's why most of the next few are going to be about banners. 
So I sort of came up with this Chinese lantern effect that you can add banners on top of the sea lanterns to sort of make it look like they are decorated. Of course, I just used one color, but you can decorate your banners in other ways, in more inventive ways than I have, to create these banners that you could hang from building to building across the street. Next up, I was thinking more along the lines of decoration here. If you're going into, if you're, oh, for example, if you're building a festival, you can just sort of walk through and have these different designs that go all the way down. And all you have to do for these is place this in the middle because on this side, you can't really see it. And again, on this side, you can't really see it. Unless you're looking up in the middle, you wouldn't even notice. And to be honest, it doesn't look that out of place. So all you do is place those along the middle and you place these on the side of them to create a nice hanging down effect and you could actually work your way all the way to the bottom to get it as long or as short as you like. Similarly, I did something the same with diagonals and diagonals doesn't look quite as pretty but everyone needs to use diagonals at some point and uh, it just is a nice tip as well. So next up, I thought banners actually make pretty good curtains. This is based on this being on the inside, but if you go on the outside, it still looks pretty decent. Apart from the little wood that goes across here, the curtains fall down quite nicely. And the next one is a very simple design. It's just a banner at the end of the bed, and I think it acts like a really nice little headboard. It's just a very minute detail, but when you put all of these little details together, your build will really stand out compared to others. Now this one is really cool. I actually came up with this for uh, a nice modern design. Imagine this, but with a nice uh, car wash around it. So you can actually like build a car in here. Using banners, again, I created those little plastic sheets that usually protect it. And then these are the brushes that actually clean the car. Oop, I'm actually missing one there. Oh, there we go did it black but it doesn't matter and you actually use the same technique of just having the white ones and I bet you didn't really notice that they were there because they're rather unintrusive to the actual build so you can actually like build a car that goes all the way through and you have a full car wash for all of you people that really love modern builds and finally very underwhelming for the final one is this sort of uh, scientific table using iron fence gates but however they're not very operational, but unless you want to have this extended table, it's probably best you keep them all the same way. But there is a final one. Now this isn't technically a building trick. This is actually more of a skin trick and I found it hilarious. Some of you probably have seen this before, but I recently, and I mean very recently today, got introduced to it and I thought it was funny as heck. So here is my head looking up and it is you know, looking pretty weird, and you'd have to create this with a command block, or you could just change your skin and steal the head anyway, but you get the idea. If you're able to get your hands on one of these heads, you can actually stick it on your head yourself, and what this does, as my glamorous assistant is going to show me, is that it, he moves his head down and he looks like a hunchback. Look how stupid this looks, it's so funny. So unfortunately you will be like this, but to everyone else, you look absolutely hilarious. So if you look up again, energy, so that's what you would look like. He can now see me. So now he looks at the floor like so, and it looks like he's looking at me. I think that is absolutely hilarious. And you could do that with any skin or any sort of surprise. And you can just have fun with your friends tricking them in that sort of way. So that's it from me, everyone. Big thank you to uh, Energy there for being my glamorous assistant. <laughs> and that's all the tricks that I had for today. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.